I'm going to say I just want to make sure that the girls are ready. Take a deep breath. We didn't get a chance to run through this once, so we're just going to wing it, but we're good, right? Okay, good. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. What are you so happy about? All you ever do is just stand there. Yeah, but I stand here proudly reminding everyone the reason for the season. Which is, um, I forget. Oh, well, what's your problem? I'm really mad at Angel. She thinks she's so perfect. I told her I was going to stand on your top branch this year, but she said one of my points is betting that she's going to be the main attraction. Now, wait a minute. You both know I'm the main attraction around here. Yeah, but without us, you'd just be a plain old green tree. Admit it. You need us. Whatever. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What's wrong, Angel? <laughs> Up in the air about something again? Very funny. Thanks to you, I'll be tossed in the dumpster this year. What'd you do with my halo? What? It wasn't real? Just give it back. Can't do it. What? What do you mean you can't do it? Why not? Well, I sort of dropped in and got sucked up the vacuum cleaner. Oh no, my shiny halo. Oh, oh. Yo, what? Tickle me to death with your feathers. Ugh. Hey, Angel, how many hails does it take to break a vacuum cleaner? One. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches? Hello, tree. How are you? Isn't it a wonderful day? Who made you the official greeter? Well, nobody exactly. It's just I have this sunny personality, I guess. Well, did I mention what a wonderful day it is? Only 852 times. Well, did I mention you look extremely lovely today? Uh, no, thanks, I think. Isn't it wonderful? Christmas with the snow, logs on the fireplaces. We don't even have a fireplace. Oh, I know, but if we did, wouldn't it be great? Life is so wonderful. Life is great. Life stinks. Excuse me? I said life stinks. Oh, sure, it's fine if you're a tree or a card. You guys get all the best jobs. But for us candy canes, it's miserable. First, they wrap you in hot cellophane and put you on, on a tree near a light so you'll be sure to melt before Christmas. Or they give you to some dirty-faced scrubby kid who slobbers all over you. <laughs> or if you're one of the real lucky ones, you get a ribbon tied real tight around your neck. And bam, you're stuck to a present. Call me. What a lovely ensemble. You look radiant. How are the children? Oh, brother, don't encourage her. She's already wrapped up in herself. Oh, darling, aren't you sweet? When you look this humble, when you look this cute, it's hard to be humble. Oh, yeah? I bet you're held together with big lots of tape. Here's that spot. <laughs> Here's that thought. My top brand invisible tape came directly from the mall. My Scott, I mean my specialty paper, is exclusively from the Christmas store. And just in case you were wondering, my bow was homemade from the finest ribbon of man available. Only the biggest, the brightest, the best. That's my motto, you know. I thought your motto was, tacky is as tacky does. That was last week, darling. Get with the program. Hello, everyone. Did you hear the latest? Tree was singing to himself again. Star is mad because her point is broken. Angel lost her halo. The vacuum cleaner is broken. Kane feels miserable. Card is still flattering everyone. And present is flattering herself again, Anne. And Belle's gossiping again. Oh, it's not gossiping if it's true, silly. And besides, I'm not saying anything behind your backs that I would to your faces. Actually, Belle, repeating what you hear and see is gossip. Oh, don't worry, Tree. I won't repeat it. I only tell it once. <laughs> Come on, let's go chat for a while. Well, Kane, isn't there some place you need to be? I have to spurs up a bit. It is Christmas Eve, you know. Yeah, I guess I'll go jump in a candy bowl and wait to be slobbered on or something. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how oh. lovely are your branches. Oh, woe is me, oh, woe is me. Put a sock in it, will ya? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your song. I mean, I messed everything up anyways. <laughs> how could you mess up anything? Oh, so now you're saying you're not good enough to mess anything up? I didn't mean like that, I just meant... It's okay. I'll just go over here and have a corner. Don't want to ruin any and Christmas anyways. How am I supposed to get ready for the big knife that old stocking slaying around? 
Maybe I'll just go lay around the corner and we'll see him. <clears throat> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Who are you? Oh, don't be alarmed, it's just me, Candle. Well, I've never seen you around here before. Oh, no, every year the family buys one new gift, no, one new thing for their Christmas. This year I get to be the new kid. Oh, great, now I'm playing someone else while I'm the main attraction around here. <laughs> Oh no, I already know why, what's special about you, Tree. You do? Of course, everybody knows what's special about you. They do? I mean, of course they do. But just to be sure, tell me why that you know I'm so special. Because evergreen trees last all year round. They represent everlasting life. And tell me again why everlasting life is so important. I don't want my mom and dad to say. They say because it's because the because Jesus Christ. The giver of eternal life was born on Christmas. That's right. Your mom and dad were right. Do you know why you're so important, Stocking? I'm not special. I'm just empty. You're empty for a reason. You're going to be filled with lots of toys and treats for the children. You'll be the first thing they reach for in the morning. I will? Yeah. Uh -huh. You show that even the emptiest thing can be filled to the top with Jesus' love. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Be... <laughs> so, Candle, have you met the rest of the gang yet? No, actually, I just got here a little while ago. Well, Kane should still be around. Kane, Kane, that's odd. He was here just a minute ago. Maybe Card's still around. Card? Hello, Tree. Who's your friend? You look great. You're so bright and cheerful. Hey, Card, why don't you go round up the others so Candle can meet them? Okay. Angel, King, Bell, Star. I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh heavens, it's not time for the celebration yet, is it? Bell and I were just um, talking about our latest gossip. I mean this. Guess what, everyone? I hear there's a new kid in town, and I hear she's very bright. Hello, you must be Belle. I'm Candle, the new kid. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. I know you have to talk a lot. It's your job. It is? I have a job? Yes. Tomorrow morning, people will know it's Christmas time because of all the bells ringing loud and clear. The little bells like you will jingle and jingle. If you can hear the jingle of her bells yakking. Now, now Tree, I'm sure Belle's just excited and doesn't know what to do with her energy. That's right. I never realized it before, but that's why I always jingle. I mean, tell everything I know, but now I'm just going to jingle the good news about Christmas everywhere I go. What is President's job, Candle? I don't have a job. I just, I'm just here to be pink the eye. That's what I do. That's all I do. Present, I can't believe that you think that's all you're here for. You're, you do have a job. Your job is to represent the gift that Jesus gave to us. It is? Yes. Jesus was God's gift to the world. And that's why people give gifts, gifts to everybody else at Christmas time. It's not the pretty bows and paper, it's the love that counts. Hey everybody, where's Kane? Yeah. yeah, where's Kane? Never mind about Star. Hey, who's the new kid? Oh, I see how it is. Star's got a broken point, so we need a new light around here. At least you've got all your parts. Still bitter about the <coughs> hail thing, Angel? So, you think you're gonna steal my place? You and who's on me? Oh no, I could never replace you, Star. You stand for the great light that the wise men shown, that the wise men followed to get to Jesus. You remind people that wise men and women are still seeking Jesus today. I do? I mean, I do. So what are you here for? Well, I don't really know. I thought someone here could tell me. Yeah, where is Cain? I've been kind of worried about him. I don't know, but we saw a kid with something sticky all over his face. <laughs> I 
I can't believe I've been so selfish. I'm worried about my missing halo and Kane's gone. What kind of angel are you if people can't tell you you're an angel when your halo's not on? I wish Kane were here. I tell her how she is so important because she reminds people of the staffs the shepherds carried and because his red stripes remind people of Jesus' blood that was shed. I tell her that her stripes shaped like the letter J for Jesus. I tell her that I miss her and... Angel! What? Who's there? Angel, it's me, Kane. I found something for you, but it's a little bent. Oh, Kane, I'm so glad to see you. We gotta tell the others you're okay. Do the others miss me, Angel? Really miss me? Yes, very much. And there's a new kid. I'm sorry I lost it. That's okay. I'm sorry for breaking your point. Let me fix it a little. Boy, things sure have changed around here. I hardly recognize anyone. You know, Candle, you know, Kane, I think you're right. Candle, I think I know what your job is. You do? Yep, your job must be to lead people to the truth. You showed each of us how important we are to God, and now we're treating each other better, too. You know, Tree, I think you're right. Well, we better get ready for the celebration. I think I hear the family coming. Places, everyone. <laughs> Look alive. Okay, not so alive. <laughs> Look how pretty the tree looks, everyone. I like the new candle. Look, Mom, look at me getting young. <laughs> <laughs> 